Mm. Okay, class. So today we're going to be conducting the Tenetti balance test on my mother. She is 53 years old? 54. 54. 54. So, <clears throat> we're going to be conducting the sitting part of the test first. So, we're going to start off by just noticing the sitting balance. Uh, there's no leaning to the side of the chair or anything like that, so we're going to go ahead and give that a 1. So now we're going to have my mother here rise from the chair and see uh, if she's able to do it without any help. Okay, so she rises without any help. <clears throat> so we're going to give her a 2 on that one without the use of arms. And she was a, did it on the first try, so that's a 2. She gained her, uh, her balance immediately within 5 seconds after standing. So we're going to go ahead and give her a 2 on that one. Her standing balance is steady, she's not swaying back and forth, so we're going to go ahead and give her a 2 on that one as well. So now I'm going to be nudging her on her sternum with an open palm to see how she sways. <clears throat> okay, so you can see that there was a little bit of stagger, it wasn't too steady, so we're going to go ahead and give her a 1 on that one. Now if you can close your feet together. And close your eyes and do that for about five seconds. So as you can see there's a little bit of swaying back and forth and left to right. So we're going ahead and give that a zero. <clears throat> now you can open your eyes. Can you do a 360 turn? Okay so as you did the 360 turn without any help there was no Gates, you missed gates in the step, so we're going to go ahead and give her a 1 on that one. And it was a steady turn, so we're good on that part. So go ahead and sit back down. And it was a safe sit, there was no need for help, so we're going to go ahead and give her a 2 on that one. So now we're going to go ahead and add up her score. So she received a 14 out of 16 on the balance score, which is very good for a person her age. Okay, so we're gonna leave it off here and then continue with the uh, gate section of the balance test. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the gate section of the Tenetti balance test. So, <clears throat> we're gonna do is have her walk 15 feet at a normal pace on the way there, and she's gonna speed walk on the way back. And the things we're gonna be looking for is indication of a gate, uh, her step length and foot height, the foot clearance on the floor, if she has step symmetry and continuity, and that means if her steps are going to be r roughly the same distance, uh, same pace, they're not going to be ones, ones real open and ones real, real wide, or a small step and then a large step. And then we're going to just look at the path she takes, <clears throat> if she sways her trunk, and then the time it takes her uh, heels to be touching as she's walking. So go ahead, you're going to walk at a normal pace that way and then speed walk on the way back. Okay, so as you can see there was not any hesitation when I told her to go, so we're going to go ahead and give her a 1 on that one. Her step length from her left foot to her right foot were rather consistent, so she's going to get a 1 on both. And she had good foot clearance, she wasn't scraping her feet while she was walking or anything like that. So we're going to give her a one on both of those. <clears throat> her foot symmetry, each step was rather equal. There was not a step that was larger than the other, so we're going to go ahead and give her a one on that one as well. And she had continuity, there was no stopping be between her steps, so she's going to go ahead and get a one on that as well. And her path was rather straight, she wasn't deviating from left to right or making any side turns in direction, so she's going to get a two on that. And her trunk wasn't flexing when she was moving, so she wasn't walking at, at like a waddling. So she's going to go ahead and two on that one as well. And her heels uh, were uh, almost touching while walking the entire time. So she's going to go ahead and get a one on that as well. So her entire score comes out to be... So she's going to get a 10 out of 12. Which again is a very, very good score for a person over 50. And so we're going to combine the balance and the gate score together. She got a 14 on her balance score. So we get a total of 24 out of 28. 
And so she's at a very low risk of any uh, disabilities from, from her knees or her hips like that. As we can tell right now, there's no really a real risk indicator, so I would classify her as uh, under the low risk category. All right, that continue. Thank you. Okay, class, so today we have my younger brother, Michael. <clears throat> He's uh, 18 years old. So this is going to be uh, the Tenetti Balance Assessment. And uh, we already did the first test on their mother, who was uh, 54 years of age. And now we have a younger person, a younger adult of 18 years old. So we're going to start off by just looking at his sitting balance. He's not swaying from left to right. So we're going to go ahead and give him a one on that. So now I want you to go ahead and rise from the chair. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see he rises from the chair without any help in the use of his arms. So we're going to go get a two on that one. Uh, his attempt to rise was on the first try, so he's going to get a two on that one as well. He immediately um, gained his balance within five seconds of standing, so he's going to get a two on that as well. And he's not standing very wide, he's not swinging from back and forth, so he's going to go get a, and get a two on that as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and nudge him on his sternum. <coughs> Bless you. Okay, so... Okay, so as you can see, there was a little bit of staggering there, so we're going to go ahead and give him a one on there. Okay, so I'm going to need you to put your feet together. Now I'll close your eyes. Stand still. Okay, that's good. So you can see he was very steady. That's one of the key differences between the younger and older person right there. I'm going to need you to go ahead and do a 360 turn. Okay, so the, as you can see right there, the steps were continuous, so he's going to go ahead and get a 1 on that score. And it was a steady turn, so he's going to go ahead and get a 1 on that as well. So now I'm going to need you to sit down again. Alright, so that was a perfect sit, didn't need any help, didn't use his arms. It was a safe and smooth motion, so he's going to go ahead and get a 2 on that. So, <clears throat> his score adds up to be... So there you go, a full score of 16, a perfect score on the Tenetti balance test. And this concludes the balance section. So after this, we're going to continue on to the gate section of the test, and we'll continue that shortly. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to continue the Tenetti balance assessment. And this is going to be the gate section of the test. So what I'm going to have him do, he's going to walk roughly 15 feet, at a normal pace, going this direction, and then on his way back, he's in a speed walk, and we are going to assess his, <clears throat> if he has any hesitance in his step, step length and height, foot balance, foot symmetry and continuity, <clears throat> uh, his path that he takes, the his trunk, watch uh, what his trunk does as he's walking, and the walking time, which is basically just if the heels are almost touching while he's walking. Okay, so go ahead and walk that direction at a normal pace, and then walk back. Okay, now do speed walk back. Okay, so he didn't have any hesitancy when he was uh, making his walk, so we're going to go ahead and give him a 1 on that. His step length and height throughout both of his feet were fine. He didn't drag his feet in any of his uh, walks, so we're going to go ahead and give him a 1 on that as well. <clears throat> and his foot didn't drop. His foot clears the floor on each uh, each foot, his left and right. So we're going to give him a 1 on that on each as well. So his uh, step symmetry was equal. One step wasn't bigger than the other. So we're going to go ahead and give him a 1 on that as well. He had continuity between his uh, steps. So he wasn't hesi uh, hesitating or stopping between his strides. So we're going to get a 1 on that as well. And his path, he had a pretty straight path. He wasn't deviating to one direction or the other. So he's going to get a 2 on that. And then his trunk was uh, swaying a little bit while he was walking, so I'm going to give him a 1 on that one, just because we saw him use his arms for stability. And then his uh, heels were almost touching while he was walking, so he's going to go get, and get a 1 on that. So if we add up his score, he has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nine. Okay, so he gets a 9 out of 12. So now we're going to carry his balance score over, which was a 16. A perfect score, and then we're going to add them together, 
we get a 25 out of 28. Okay, so as you can see, that's a uh, almost perfect score again at a very low risk, not even um, at any risk whatsoever for any sort of uh, um, the diseases that are related to the hip or the knees. I'd say that he's under very low risk, so he has nothing to worry about. Okay, that'll conclude this test. Thank you.